We are playing Minecraft. No, I think I'll pass on the update, buddy. No, don't show my personal information on screen, please. I had all kinds of stuff recorded, and I don't know where any of it went. Anyway, I, this must be <laughs> the world that I uh, made last time, so we're just gonna roll with it and load it up. We're also just going to say that those recordings all were just terrible and you didn't want to see them anyway. Okay, well, off to a good start. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm... Yeah, last time I played I got pissed off. <laughs> Actually, every time I've played, I've recorded Minecraft like five different times and I've had just a nightmare of an experience every time. But hey, we, we got all kinds of stuff right here. What, what am I doing? Yeah, here we go, see? We're already off to a good start. We got like fish sticks. We got a couple torches. We got... Uh, paid for, for skin. Just pretend you don't see it. I'm a big Minecraft fan, to be honest. And I wanna stress fan. I'm a f big fan, I'm not, uh, I'm not good at Minecraft. <laughs> I would never try and fool you. I'm not trying to just be coy either, like... I at least thought I was uh, solid. <laughs> Found out the hard way last time that I'm actually just, uh, like, pretty bad. But if, if nothing else... It should be fun to watch, right? Just like we, we've done in the past, I want everyone to leave a comment of every mistake that I make in chronological order with timestamps. So that we can all <laughs> use it as, as a learning experience. My Minecraft character is always, um, uh, just, uh, always striving to be vegan. So what I always do when I start off is just grab as many seeds as possible. <laughs> the thing too is that um, quite often I start new worlds with my friends and they're always off doing 50 different things at the same time. I'm not even trying to say that like that's the wrong thing to do. You know, it's Minecraft. Do whatever you want. You can you mine, you craft, you have a good time. That's priority. But the issue that we always run into is like okay, like at, at one point or another, it's like what what are we going to eat? <laughs> So I always try and put that into my own hands, and you know, is freaking bread um, the the quickest <laughs> way to get your nutrition in Minecraft? No, but you know, once you get it cooking, you know, I'm, I'm all about the the slow and steady. Okay, once you get a good rhythm going with the bread, you're you're solid. So. <laughs> You know, the day just started. You know, let me just take in these resources. We got some wood. Got some freaking wood in my pants here. Um, yeah, I'm looking for a good st stretch of land. This is looking a little familiar. I'm pretty sure I literally just killed myself, like, right here. I'm not even playing around. This is also back, you know, I'm playing on the PS3 if you haven't... Well, okay. You know, I'm sure you know at this point. But back then... You might not know this, if you're watching this way in the future, but the worlds were not endless on PS3, and I very much prefer that. F the endless world, screw that. So you can recognize spots, like right here, when I jumped off and ended my life. There might be something up there. Hell yeah, collecting that J. Cole. We got hella coal. Hella coal? Hella wheat? But where am I gonna live? Oh, this this could be a freaking sweet, like, little village here. What do we need? Actually, we don't have, like, any... Uh, is this stone? Cobblestone. You can cobble my stone. 
You can gobble my stone, you know what I'm talking about? Gobble my stone, I got wood. I'm gonna put my pickaxe in your apple. <laughs> Alright, you know, now, now I'm struggling with the innuendos. I'm gonna put my pickaxe in your freaking uh, chest. <laughs> now that just sounds like, like murder right there. That just... That literally just sounds like I'm, I just threatened someone's life. Yeah, it's starting to get a little spooky, so I'm gonna try and climb this thing here. And then set, set land. I almost said set sail. I would have probably too, but you can actually set sail, so we're not gonna... I am gonna joke around about something like that, because then I'm gonna see all the comments being like, when's he gonna set sail? He said he's setting sail. Hey, man. Episode one, you said set and sail, and you never set sail, man. Hey, man. I told people you were cool, man. I showed people your channel, man. You said you were gonna set sail, and I just, you know, that kind of pissed me off. You never set sail. <laughs> Someone runs up to me on, on the street, and be like, hey, man, I know your channel, man. Hey. I watch, you know, I'm a big fan of the Minecraft series. Like, oh, yeah, thanks. Thank you so much, you know. Thanks, man. Hey man, like in the episode, episode one, he said something that really, I don't know, I haven't been able to sleep good ever since you said it. Just, I can't imagine that I say something I'm not during Minecraft. You, and you said the first episode, isn't that the one, you know, light, lit the candle. I was, you know, I had my turmeric milk. I was uh, sipping that, that turmeric milk. Cracked a little black pepper in there. They say, you know, it activates the turmeric. And, you know, I lit a little candle. And, you know, I can't imagine I would say anything that would, you know, really, you know, set anybody off, rub anybody the wrong way. Wait, what, 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 I didn't mean to, you know, I kind of, I have to take, take responsibility. I got to man up this time. Really got to man up, you know, take accountability. I'm trying to be a better man, you know, that's, that's kind of a big deal, you know, so... Yeah, just just let me know. Just just spill it. Just tell me straight up. You know, don't don't hold back. What 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 did I do? About seven minutes in to the Minecraft, you said you were gonna set sail. I trusted you, man. I thought you were different. I didn't think you were like those others. You know, back back in the day, you know, you you seem like. You're just, you're different. You know, you weren't like them. I'm gonna be just another one of those. You screwed up. <laughs> you screwed up bad this time. And you know what? I'm sick of, I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of standing up for you. Making excuses. Why don't you just stick to your shit? When you say you're gonna do something, you do it. You don't make excuses. You don't... I just... I don't see why... I, I just don't see why you would make... You'd make something like that up. I don't know why, you know, why you would... that Something like that would come into your head. And you would say it. And then you just not... Pull through. That just seems like, the, you know, a bad thing to do. Especially on your first year... Your first episode of Minecraft, and you you just blatantly, wholeheartedly lied to your entire audience. You don't think there's something wrong there? There's something wrong, something snapped in your brain, if you think that's alright. You make me sick. You're the shiny example of what is wrong with the world today. All right, my fish is done. You know what I always have a really hard time with is getting like the shears. Well, not okay, not the shears, but you know, making a bed, you gotta, you know, we have to get like iron. And I don't wanna use my iron on shears, but you gotta get the shears. So then you can get the, the sheep, wool, and then you can make a bed. So. That's gonna be a pain in the ass, but we gotta do it. It's gonna be a pain in the cock. Oh shit, speaking of pain in the cock. Dude, oh my god. Like, that's actually terrifying. Dude, get that, get that fucking thing away from me. Wait, no! 
No, 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 no. This is actually really bad. I forgot something at work after I made like the biggest point to myself to like n not to forget it. It's like so important. I write all this stuff down that's really important and it's also just mostly embarrassing like if somebody finds it. <laughs> Hit one of my friends up, he's, he's still there so I'm like dude like please, please <laughs> don't let me down. I'm so mad at myself for forgetting that. I'm also mad that the freaking sun, where, where's the sun? Okay, and where'd that guy go? That witch bitch. I don't got no sword, no Pokemon sword nor shield right now, okay? Actually, I could make one, I don't even know what I'm doing, I'm screwing around. I'm just wasting time, just blatantly wasting time. Don't you just love it? I'm loving it. Loving it like McDonald's, bro. Alright, here, check this out. I'll show you a little hack. You guys might not know about this one. Yeah, it's called making a sword. <laughs> it's called Pokemon Sword and Shield. Oh, I need a hoe. I need some hoes. Alright, yeah, that's always priority number one. The hoes. Okay, also priority number two something it's gonna be how the F do I get down from here I usually make some like cool like you know in the center of the little you know space here you know like drop down ladder uh, thing but you know what uh, I don't have time for that shit right now <laughs> there's there's just there's junk everywhere oh look at that all right here we go I almost forgot what I was gonna make. I wasn't gonna make a pickaxe, but I kept like, never mind, doesn't matter. All right, check this out. Oh, fuck. Let's run straight off the cliff. Is that even, yeah, um, is it? I don't know, whatever, who cares? To do my path here. Damn, I keep making snowballs. Look at these effing snowballs. I made a mistake, you know, in the winter tundra here. Snow everywhere, that's gonna piss me off real quick. Also, what did I do all night right here? I, I you know, realized my, my fatal blunder, leaving something at work that I shouldn't have left. <laughs> I could have been doing this. Could have been making pickaxes and stuff. I'm like, you know, cooking f fish. I'm on a paleo diet. Paleocentric. I don't even know what that means. Google it and put it on screen. Paleocentric? How the fuck should I know what that means? Um, seems like Google just says it's pretty much the same as like a paleo diet. Yeah, like grains, wheat, oats, barley, a bunch of ligma beans. <laughs> Put <laughs> trichophobia on screen. Did I ever mention there was this one time? You know how YouTube, it usually, you know, just puts, you know, it's just some total bullshit, you know, like... You know, this video will, you know, I don't know. Well, everyone knows, like, the classic, like, oh, if, you know, you're not going to make it through this video without laughing or whatever. But there's also, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen some of those ones that are like, well, the example that I'm going to give is there's one time I seen a video. Well, I didn't watch the video, but it popped up in my, my recommended and it was like, this video will give you extreme anxiety in the, the, um... The thumbnail actually gave me unbelievable anxiety. I will never forget this picture. Ugh, it's like scarred into my brain. It's so freaky. Just the, like the perspective. <sighs> it was like a... I don't even know. I think too, it was like my brain couldn't comprehend even like what the actual hell was going on. Like I'm genuinely scared to even describe it, but I have to like do my best anyway because like we've already got this far. I can't. Like, I can, I can just drop stuff like that really easy, but I know that that would really piss people off if I didn't try and describe it. It was like, it sort of looked like the Paper Mario Dragon, but like, in, in real life. Like, a mechanical, like, big mechanical, like, dragon type thing. And it, like, its mouth was, like, right towards, like, the, the, uh, front of the, like, thumbnail. 
and like the background it was like you know only on like the right side of the screen something like that and like the the background was just like complete just like darkness so it was like you know just coming out of just like complete darkness like you're just getting like consumed and yeah it was just like scary i don't know i only seen it for like a second it took like a second for my brain to comprehend i think that made it even scarier because i'm like what the hell and i read like the title and i'm like yeah doubt it and then i looked and i was like oh <laughs> you know i've never had just such a like knee-jerk reaction actually here's something too i definitely recorded this somewhere either way if i never find it or whatever or you know we got to keep this one alive because this was terrifying this was like like i'm not even joking this is like the scariest dream i've ever had in my whole life like i'm, I'm not even joking like <laughs> but it sounded like stupid i don't know i'm getting goosebumps just like thinking about it i think you know the thing too is just like you know what what does it mean or like i guess even just thinking about like you know is there some sort of deeper thing <laughs> all right here we go so um i'm a pretty big <laughs> Anthony Fantano fan. <laughs> I watch a lot of Anthony Fantano. What can I say? I think he's got good content. He posted something today that actually was was pretty pretty funny. He's been putting a lot of good content. But you know what? I'm not even gonna. Well, it's like a, a Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like they put out a new track and he's breaking down the lyrics. He was like, yeah. But anyway, that's completely besides the point. So. I'm a, I'm a freaking melon head, as they, as they say. Huge melon head, but for some reason, and I don't necessarily, f <laughs> I don't necessarily find Anthony Fantano scary. <laughs> Nothing like that. Uh, but I had a dream that like, I was at my house and it was like late, but like my family was home like a like a bunch of my family members were, were at home and we get a, a ring on the doorbell for some reason like and it's just like you know late enough to be like very bizarre where it's like why why who who could it be why and who why and from where i'm like sitting i can't really see who's there i think that's the scariest part I couldn't I couldn't tell who was there I just heard like a voice I didn't recognize the voice this person was like oh hey you know I, I know your son or something like that and for whatever reason he like s took a step into my into our house and it was <laughs> it was freaking Cal of all people it was literally Cal Chuchesta but like, without the squinty eyes, he had like, <laughs> as the kids say, hyper-realistic eyes. And he looked dead at me. It was like, as soon as he like, turned this corner to like, to be staring directly at where I was like, placed. He was just looking, he just knew I was gonna be like, right there. And he just looked dead at my face. I, my, my, I have just, like, the most, like, shivering goosebumps right now just thinking about that. I wish I didn't even bring that shit up, because that shit's scary, bro. Calchu Chesta, bro. He pulled up to the spot. He was ready. <laughs> and then I woke up in, like, a cold sweat. I, that was, that had to have been a dream where I couldn't even go back to sleep. I was just like, no, like, no. I probably stayed up and watched, uh, Anthony Fantano. It's possible. I really doubt it, though. Doesn't sound like something I would do after after that. Anyway, I'm sure this is very engaging uh, gameplay here. But see, look, you know, this is this is where the adrenaline really starts kicking in because I'm low on health or low on food, and then I'm gonna be low on health, and then what do I do? This is methodical or whatever. Put <laughs> we're gonna learn all kinds of vocab words. Put methodical the definition on screen. And tell me if I if I'm using it right or not. I think this is pretty methodical. Is it nautical though? Put nautical on screen. Nautical nonsense. Actually, here's something. This is <laughs> this is what I left at work. 
<laughs> if you were curious, like, what the actual hell I'm talking about, about, like, what I left at work, this is literally what I left at work. So, one of the things that I wrote on this piece of paper, um, is, was, you know, I write, like, just little ideas for stuff that I want to, like, work on, or, or, you know, this, that, and all that, you know, type stuff. And what the hell? Oh, okay. One of the things that I wrote down was doing something just called Freestyle Fridays, where if I end up, you know, recording like a memo on my phone, and it ends up being on a Friday, I'm going to try and remember to do a, a freestyle every Friday. Or I guess on, on this kind of recording too. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. That'll be engaging. Just, you know, something a little different. I'm like, well, how am I going to bring fun? How do I how do I make this fun? Make it something that people actually want to watch. This this putrid shit. This liquid shit. That I'm just spraying directly out of my ass here. How am I going to get people engaged? And then I'm like, Freestyle Fridays. You know how utterly embarrassing that would be? If I go to work and someone finds my, finds my my paper that you know they unfold it and it says Freestyle Fridays on it, 